If you're just after the audio test, go to this time code now and you can find that there. Today I'm looking at something I've been meaning to look at for a while. I'm back with the Anchor Bluetooth speakerphones and uh, I'm going to look at the PowerConf S3, I'm going to look at the PowerConf and I'm going to look at the PowerConf S500. They go up in price respectively. $89.99 is the current price for the PowerConf S3, $129.99 for the PowerConf, and $229.99 for the PowerConf S500. I'm going to do the video in a couple of parts. Firstly, I'm just going to play you a small amount of audio of a fixed passage of text read by my partner over FaceTime audio, and I've recorded it on the uh, Rodecaster here. And uh, I'm going to do that for each of the devices so you can get a direct comparison of exactly the same text across the three devices. Then I'm going to play you the full conversation with, that we had for on each of the devices so you can hear something a little bit more natural. That's a little bit longer, hence why the video is about 10 or 12 minutes long, just because of the fact that it's got a sort of long, pointless conversation in there about these devices that we just recorded while testing them. And then I'm going to just conclude what I think about each of these devices. Spanning nearly a hundred years and moving from Korea at the start of the 20th century to pre and post-war Osaka and finally Tokyo, the novel reads like a long, intimate hymn to the struggles of people in a foreign land. Spanning nearly a hundred years and moving from Korea at the start of the 20th century to pre and post-war Osaka and finally, Tokyo, the novel reads like a long, intimate hymn to the struggles of people in a foreign land. Spanning nearly a hundred years and moving from Korea at the start of the 20th century to pre- and post-war Osaka and finally Tokyo, the novel reads like a long, intimate hymn to the struggles of people in a foreign land. So I've got three different ones to try out here. I'm going to start with the uh, cheapest one, which is the PowerConf S3. So uh, let's give Kate a call on that. So I'm just going to call via FaceTime. So uh, we give the audio the best chance. Uh, so phone calls can vary, of course, but uh, we're just going to do FaceTime audio. And I'm going to route that through here and see um, how it sounds. Um, she's probably going to be talking from about I don't know, about a distance of one one meter. Not going to be much background noise or anything like that. But uh, just want to just want to see how it sounds. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, loud and clear. Cool. Good. Um, Hopefully, I, ca I can't hear you in the background on the, um, uh, you know, through the through the wall of the house. Mm -hmm. um, but um, yeah, I, I I can hear you. Okay, it sounds a little bit. I mean, you can hear the room quite a lot in it, but it is it is pretty clear. Yeah, you, yeah a little bit, but no, no, it's not bad actually. It sounds pretty good. Um. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's obviously not a lot in here to kind of. But it's unlike any other room, isn't it? In terms of, it's got to be able to cope with this kind of room. Yeah, yeah. I suppose. I mean, this is this would be a typical sort of home room, working from home. This this kind mm -hmm. of this kind of setup. Um, yeah, yeah. I, I'm just wondering what what else. If you can just pick a passage, maybe out of a you know out of a book or something, or pick a pa anything just just that you can read on each of these, just to compare directly. So you've got like a set phrase. Oh, okay. Um, I'll have to get a book then, won't I? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, okay, yeah, walk across the room. So do do something from a bit further away. Yeah, do you want me to read from this side of the room or closer up? Um, I can hear you fine from there, but t really, it just yeah. sounds like any conference phone, you know? Any conference phone you have at work. Well, as soon as people walk across the room, it yeah. sounds just like a room then. It's, but I can still understand yeah. you fine. It just doesn't sign, sound like hi-fi. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. So just uh, just a couple of sentences, anything you can find from uh just do it from a distance you would on a desk, so where you were sat before. Uh yeah. I've just realized I've picked a book with like loads of things that um Has it got swearing in? No, no, just like um names I can't pronounce and things like that. So that's <laughs> uh, not <laughs> what, did, what did you pick? Uh, no, the book that I was reading earlier. I've oh, the, is it? Is it got? Is uh, um, that the one with Japanese names in? 
Japanese and Korean names in Japanese it. Japanese and to, Korean. I don't okay. want to get them wrong. No, okay, no, that's fair enough. That's fair. So, enough. but I could, I could, um, I could read the um, the comment from the Guardian. Yeah, go on. Read, read the comment from the Guardian. That sounds good. Okay. <laughs> Spanning nearly a hundred years and moving from Korea at the start of the twentieth century to pre and post war Osaka and finally Tokyo, the novel reads like a long, intimate hymn to the struggles of people in a foreign land. Cool. That's good. Okay, we'll try the uh the next one. We'll get the next one paired up and try that in a second. Okay. Thanks, bye. Ciao ciao. Okay, next we got the uh, the Power Conf. This, is what, this one's just called the Power Conf, the Power Conf Ultra Clear. And uh, this is a little bit more expensive than the other one, so probably about uh, in the kind of 90, 100, possibly even 120 pound region. So I'm not convinced, though, that the hardware inside is any different. It just seems to be better build quality. But uh, let's see if it sounds any different. Oh well, that well, that wasn't a good start. That cut off the whole first part of the word. Uh, sorry, second part of the word. Hello. Oh, okay. I pressed. I hope did I speak too soon? Oh no, maybe not. No, no, because it got the first part of the word, but cut off the second. It was like ha. Oh. oh. Uh, anyway, okay. sorry, sorry to bother you, Kate. It's uh, Torsten calling from head office. Uh, just looking to uh, confirm the budget numbers that we have got for Q four. Yeah, we spent it all. <laughs> I don't doubt that you have. What have you spent <laughs> it on? What I'm have not you, telling you. What have you spent? <laughs> <laughs> what have you spent? Oh, God. <laughs> it sounds all right, actually. That I think it does sound pretty similar to the last one, really. If you could just go over to the bookcase yeah. again and then come back yeah, and read. Yeah, yeah. oh, oh. oh, sorry to get you up and about on a, on a Sunday really, night. You know. A thousand? Eight thousand. Oh, right. I was going to say a thousand. It's like, oh, well done. You've got out of bed and walked to the bathroom. Oh, how big do you think the house is? <laughs> what, how far away are you now? I've come back. Oh, oh you've come back I, I, already. I went, right? you... Yeah, I'm back already. Yeah, okay. So you can so walk. I read, you... I, read, I read my passage. Please do, yeah. Read your passage. <sighs> Spanning nearly a hundred years and moving from Korea at the start of the 20th century to pre and post war Osaka and finally Tokyo, the novel reads like a long, intimate hymn to the struggles of people in a foreign land. Oh, I don't know. I, I, I'll be interested to hear how these side, sound side by side, but to me, I could understand that better. It was all clearer. And the S's were clear. The S's were clearer, and it didn't lose that the word mm. "him" through processing and stuff. It just sounded better. Don't know, but um, maybe it's just placebo effect because of the fact I know it's about fifty pound more expensive than the other one. It's almost twice the price. I think that one. Mm. Okay, so the next one is the most expensive of them all, and it's the PowerCon S five hundred, which is more in the. So it's like it's twice the price again. So it's going to about two hundred two hundred fifty pounds. So. Um, Oh. I'll, we'll get that paired up and give that one a go. So, uh, yeah, hopefully it'll be even better. But yeah. I'm going to sound amazing. Well, you sound amazing anyway. But uh... <laughs> <laughs> all right, bye bye. Ciao. Good evening. Hi. Hi. Oh, I'm going to have to turn you up. You're a bit quiet. Hang on. Okay. Uh. Is that better? Yeah. Can you speak? Yep. Hello, one, two, one, two. There we go. Okay. You sound a bit socky. I sound socky. A bit, in comparison. Oh, I, I, you, you sound n notably better, actually. Okay. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty clear. Mm. Yeah, you're not mm. impressed? You're not impressed with it? I, I've usually find the quality on that one pretty good. I don't know. Yeah, maybe it's just a bit, just a bit socky. I don't know, just a bit... I think it may be because it, maybe possibly because it was just so quiet when it came on. Mm -hmm. yeah. I have to turn you up. 
Well, we'll I'll try. A, might try a phone call in a second, and a, a normal phone call. Um, mm-hmm. So you said what the S five hundred made it sound better, made it sound sort of more impressive than you. So S five hundred, you assume, must be better than S three. Yeah. 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 You assume. You assume it's like you know, like yeah. a lot better. <laughs> You're trying to work it out in your head how many times better. <laughs> well, how times no, no, three, no, no, no. How many times does three go into 500? <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I wasn't thinking like that, but yeah. Well, uh, you sound, uh, yeah. just, you do sound no, quite you, a lot clearer. It sounds, it sound, yeah, no, you sound all right now. And maybe it was just that initial, oh, okay. initial connection. Hmm. Well, can you okay. can you step step a bit further away? I'm going to so, step. I'm going to step away. I'm so so away. read read your passage. <laughs> well, why we're talking? I don't know why we're talking about passages so much, but um, I've been reading the passage, uh, not from the other side of the room, obviously. No, you can read so, it. Read okay. it from there and read it from near too. I have to read twice now. Read it twice on yeah. Okay, <clears throat> so this is from the other side of the room. Uh, Spanning nearly 100 years and moving from Korea at the start of the 20th century to pre and post war Osaka and finally Tokyo, the novel reads like a long, intimate hymn to the struggles of people in a foreign land. Cool, good. And I'm moving closer now. I'm getting closer. Um, I'm reading it again, okay? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, uh, Okay. Spanning nearly a hundred years and moving from Korea at the start of the 20th century to pre and post war Osaka and finally Tokyo, the novel reads like a long, intimate hymn to the struggles of people in a foreign land. That's great. Thank you very much. Any further comments? Anything to add? Anything you like about each of them? You've obviously had a lot. You've obviously had all of like two minutes, yeah. two minutes use with each of them. So you've. Uh, I mean, this one does look nicer. It does, doesn't it? It looks more expensive. Yeah. It feels more expensive. Yeah. 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 It looks more sort of sturdy and and just yeah yeah. Um, so if, if money was colors. no object, you would you would naturally sort of err on you know go towards that one. Yeah. Mhm. Mhm. Um yeah, having never obviously thought about needing one of these things before. No. No, well this is this is what I was um I guess struggling with to start with is kind of like when when do you actually need something like that? I mean, when what sort of what's the use case for it? And um, um uh, for someone like you who is completely, you know, you're on calls however many hours a day as part of your job. Mm. Um, I mean, some days you can be on a call for what, f- for five hours. You, so, yeah. And but you're perfectly happy with a headset. Yeah, I was going to say I like a headset. Yeah. Um, um, but as soon I don't as need a conference when, yeah. As soon as I went, you know, I just went over to Mark's that day, and we sat down on the on the kitchen table. As soon as we did that, it sort of yeah. then we then thought, well, you know, something like that could be quite handy. But then you think, well, we could yeah. just do that on a laptop because the laptop laptop speakers aren't that bad. Oh no, laptop speakers are awful. I think, oh, oh, are they? Well, it does depend on the laptop, doesn't it? I suppose. Yeah, but... no, I would never do anything on laptop speakers. Oh, okay. Well, there we go. Uh, I mean, uh, so they're, they're terrible. So let's say you were going to one of your uh, golf golf center meetings or something like that, wherever you go. For your, for, your, for your meetings and there's a room that hasn't got they probably got conference facilities there but if you, if they didn't and you had to have a if someone was missing you had to have a, a um your meeting with with two other people that, that couldn't be on site because of covid or something yeah. something like that i guess could be really useful in that situation just something you can take out your bag connect up and you know yeah no it would be really useful then yeah because particularly yeah, that yeah. that one that you've got there if you look on the bottom side of it it's got a little bluetooth yeah. dongle that, that oh wow oh, that's really wow. messed up oh, that's really messed up. whoa <laughs> me, me, t- me touching it you touching it has messed up all the e- echo can oh yeah there we go we're back good <laughs> it really messes up all okay. the echo cancellation that's funny uh yeah so it's gone oh, yeah, so it's gone wrong. <laughs> So you can look but not touch when you're using it. It does seem um, that way. This, oh, this, oh, the right, I see. For the, yeah, for the, for the laptop. Yeah, so that's like prepared. You prepared, don't actually... you don't know. Actually... Wow, that really yeah. messes things up. Don't don't fiddle with your dongle whilst talking, is that what you're saying? I think it's just don't... Think it's just... If you touch the case at all, it kind of then... 
messes up where the because it's, it's got like loads of mics around the side. Oh wow! Oh, okay. Um, they're all bouncing back at me now. No, that's fine. That's working again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I've stopped. Stopped touching the dongle. <laughs> Thanks. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but no. Uh, so, so I'm just explaining this for the purpose of the recording more than anything else. I, I know you're probably not that interested, but. Uh, so that Bluetooth dongle is like prepared, prepared to that device. So you just plug it in. It doesn't have to be paired in Windows or anything like that. You just plug it into the well, laptop. Well, that's useful because it, yeah, because if you've got your Bluetooth disabled in your laptop, yeah, I think it would still need it to. I'm not sure actually. I'd, I'm curious yeah, to try that on yours, just because because you've got Bluetooth disabled. That is a separate device. That is a Bluetooth device. So whether your laptop would pick it up and go. Oh, that's another Bluetooth device. I'm going to kill that, or whether it would just be seen as totally different and and be absolutely fine. I don't I don't know, but that's the, kind of the purpose of it anyway. It's just to make connecting on a, any device that hasn't got Bluetooth simple. Mm. Mm. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you for the conversation and also touching it as well. Thanks for touching it because that really showed how it how. <laughs> That really showed how it can how it can fail in its job. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't touch the others, they so say. It's not really fair on the others. No, it's not, it's not in compar fair comparison in that sense. <laughs> All um, right, thanks for your help. <laughs> Ciao. See you later. Bye. There's no getting around the fact that a conference phone sounds like a conference phone. With any microphone that you use from a distance of greater than one, well, maybe half a metre, something like that, it starts to pick up the ambience of the room because the microphone is not only picking up your voice, you've also got your voice bouncing off a wall and going into the microphone too. You've got it bouncing off the back wall and going into the microphone. And therefore... A conference phone always has that conference phone sound. And there's no change with these devices from Anchor. They they sound like that, right? And the problem is these days, people are very much used to people uh, going on to calls with headsets on. And with a headset, it doesn't matter if it's a cheap headset, the microphone is only a couple of centimeters away from your mouth. So you eliminate that entirely. And it sounds really clean and crisp and nice. So I think the, the comparison side by side can shock people sometimes. They think, oh, wow, they don't sound very good. But they just sound like a conference phone. And any kind of polycom conference or anything like that, you go upwards in price into thousands of pounds for conference phones, they're still going to sound the same. I was quite surprised at how the budget variant of these, the Power Confess 3, sounded. Sure, you can hear the compression, you can hear the noise reduction going on on the device. Still sounds pretty clean, though, and definitely intelligible. The... S, uh, the next one up, the PowerConf, the 129.99 uh, variety, seemed exactly the same as the S3. In fact, I think the internals probably are identical. Uh, it, it's got a nicer shell, it looks a bit cleaner, the packaging's better, but I kind of got a feeling that the actual inside of the device is probably exactly the same. The S500 definitely has a different uh, inside. It's got different microphone layout, it's got additional features, it's Zoom certified, and it's just overall a more expensive product and it does sound better it sounds crisper it sounds clearer and there was a notable sort of step up in audio quality then between the um the powerconf s3 the powerconf and the powerconf s500 so which one you go for well make your own mind up because you can hear that all of them sound pretty decent as far as the received audio so the, how it actually sounds it's not received audio so that as far as how well for example uh, Kate was hearing me on the devices. Well, they've all got good speakers in. They're all loud enough. That's no problem at all. Really, the per you can you can hear other people fine on these devices. Uh, but what I thought was more important was to record the actual audio quality of the microphones on the devices, so you so you get an idea of how other people will be hearing you. Anyway, I hope you found this audio test useful. Thanks very much for watching. As usual, if I will put links to these products in the video description. If you'd like to support the channel, please use those uh, links to click on and shop as you would normally shop on Amazon. And I'll receive a small commission for uh, the next purchase, whether it be a speakerphone or a pair of headphones or even some toilet paper or something like that. Uh, like the video if you liked it. 
and uh, sub consider subscribing to the channel. It's always uh, appreciated when you subscribe to the channel. Uh, and uh, yeah, stick it down in the comments what you think about these uh, products. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.